Hey guys, what's up? It's Steinumite here. Today I am bringing you the promised tutorial of how to update your PlayStation Vita if it's currently jailbroken with Henkaku Enso, as it is known. So let's get right into this video. As you can see, my Vita is obviously hacked because this is the fun lifestyle that I lead. So let's check out the guide that we have on here. Uh, first, it is saying that we need to go into molecular shell. It's going to be a, quite a fun time, guys. Um, this tutorial is mainly going to be for people who obviously already know what Henkaku is, all about the Vita jailbreak, and all of that kind of stuff. If you don't really know what that is, then this is, might be a fun video for you to watch. Um, but I'm not entirely sure if you're going to understand everything on here, but I'll do my best. So, it's telling us to go down to the UX0 Vita Shell directory, right here. And press select, oh no, press triangle to delete. So we gotta delete this. Mm, I believe it did. Let's see here, delete. There we go, do I wanna delete the folder? Yes, I do, sadly. Now that that's done, I wanna press select and open my client on the FTP server. That's something on the PC. Um, let's see here. So now that we have that, we're going to want to type in a host number. So we want 192.168. That's just my default one for some reason always. And we need the port number now. This is always quite the fun time, isn't it? And with that, we should be in. We are in. As you can all see, I'll move the screen up just to show you temporarily. Let's see here, um, up on here. As you can see, we have our directory listed there. So it wants us to go into the UX0 folder and find data. Let's see where that is. Let's see if I have a data folder. <laughs> it might think I do when I don't. Oh no, there's data and transfer the vpk file okay so we need to transfer this one right here the vita shell shouldn't be too difficult let's put this over here transfer this in all right transfer the update file and transfer the enso file okay once i have finished that Oh, uh, so if I have that, I need to also transfer the fourth one right here, the Vita 2 PSP update, because I have ENSO, which is the permanent Vita jailbreak that me basically means you don't have to relaunch the Henkaku jailbreak on boot. It's just automatically there, which is a really nice feature to have. So with that all completed, let's go back down to the Vita. You just got to wait for that file to transfer. So I'll see you guys back in a moment. Alrighty, and we are back. The files have transferred, so now we can disconnect from here. And we can actually go to that folder on our PS Vita that we were in before. Um, for those of you I said who don't know what it is, this is just going to be a fun tutorial for you. I need to press uh, install on the Vita shell and updater files. Okay. Those are going to be all the way down here. Yep, these two. So I want to install this. Yes. I have to basically say, yeah, I'm cool with installing this, even though it may or may not be safe. Because I don't mind. That's just how I am. So there's that install. And here comes this install. So after I have done both of these, which I have, we're going to have to go back to the Vita's home screen. So once this finishes installing itself, it just has to write to the memory. We can now go back to the Vita home screen. We now need to go find settings. Where is settings? We need to go to settings and make sure we have unsafe homebrew enabled. So let's see here. It should be in here. We have unsafe homebrew enabled. I just wanted to show you guys that. It's in settings, Henkaku settings, and right there. So that's what we wanted. Now we need to go back into Molecular Shell and install the Enzo VPK because we have the Enzo. We have the Enzo files. 
because I'm like most people and I don't want to have to install this every time my PlayStation Vita boots. So even if it dies, no matter what, it's just it's always going to work, which is awesome. The reason um, I'm updating right now to the 3.65 is because a lot of PS Vita games don't work below version 3.61. So if you're on 3.60, you kind of need to update. It's a little important. Um, I need to now move the PSP to update um, to, let's see here. Let's see what we can do. Let's see what we can do. I need to press this and I need to hit move so it's copied. I need to navigate to somewhere in app. Okay. Let's see here. I need to move it to where it just says, where was that? UX0 app. Um, here we are. Sorry if it's a little bit difficult to see. And we want right there, update 3.65. And now we just need to hit paste. Uh, triangle, paste. And with that, we have that move. So now that file's in there. We're safe. Um, do we have the UX0 tie folder? If we don't, uh, we do actually have that. Okay. Add a hashtag before everything. I need to open the text file. Uh, do I have any of these? I mean, I, I think so, but um, I just need to figure out some stuff. Okay, before each user made plugin, I see. So it's just like this. We need to do. <laughs> so slash ux zero. Well, see, this is like app stuff. This isn't the Thai stuff. So I don't know if I need any of this, but it seems to think so. We'll do it just to be safe. Where is the pound sign? Did that do it? No, of course not. It's very difficult to edit on these, I swear. Like They don't want you to do this kind of nonsense on a Vita. It's not what it was meant for. There we go. Come on, you. So we just got to do this a couple times to make sure everything's here correctly. Because if not, I guess something breaks in here and I'd rather just do it and have it work correctly. Mm, make sure all the URs are good. The UX. I'm not even sure what all these are, but it just says on the guide that this is something we need to do. So I'm just going to do it. If any of you want to follow this guide yourselves, um, I will provide the link to the actual website for this in the description below. Uh, obviously, if my guide isn't helpful enough or there's any questions left unanswered. <laughs> so. so that's finished now. Do I want to save? Yes, I do. So that's done, but I need to make sure something else is good in the UR0 folder. If I have a tie folder, I do. Config text. I think all these are good though. Nope, guess not. Okay, we only got a couple though. Can I edit it, please? No, not what I want. Jeez. I guess I don't need to edit those. All right, because it won't let me, so as you guys can see, now this says uh, exit molecular shell, so we're done with that. Next step of this guide is actually backing up Vita Shell just in case. So I need to open uh, some software up on my PC called CMA. Um, for those of you who don't know what that is, it's a little bit interesting of nonsense. Basically, it's a content manager for the Vita, and um, yeah, you know. I need to open the application um, on my Vita. This one actually requires the USB cable. Luckily, I have one on hand. The Vita's USB cable is a little bit weird, especially for the Model 1, but I do have mine. It comes as part of the charger. It's just the charger is a two-piece set. Uh, there's the content manager. So you plug it in, and it automatically seems to know what it's doing. 
which is really, really cool. I'm down with that. I need to open it and select copy content. Close molecular shell, obviously. That's going to go through its rudimentary steps. What it thinks it's doing. Select copy from Vita to PC. Um, right here. And then applications. And then PS Vita. And then Vita shell. So we need to go find Vita shell down here. And there it is. So we check mark Vita shell. And then select copy in the right hand corner. And we press OK. It's basically going to back up Vita shell, which is our basic storage application manager for everything Vita related. So it's a pretty important uh, thing to have. That's why it wants you to back it up as, as part of the guide. So after I do that, it'll be saved. That's done. I can now exit content manager according to it. Sorry if I keep bumping, by the way. Now I just need to go to system applications. Where was that? It's in here. And we go back into Hinkaku settings, we're still there, it remembers that, and select unlink memory card. I don't want to, but it tells me to. Okay. Cool. I mean, if it says, if you don't do this, this is a really important thing right there, what I just did. If you don't do it, the guide says you will not be able to use your memory card on 3.65 or higher. And that's not good. We, we really kind of need that. <laughs> so... Um, if we've never implied N, so we don't know to apply this, but we have, so we need this. So open up the Enzo application that we installed earlier, which should be right where it was still. Um, we need to uninstall it, which is a little terrifying, but it wants us to. Oh, goody, fine text. I can unplug my Vita, actually, since I already finished what I needed to on there. Let's get this all close up in here. There we are. Um, I believe this says read what's on screen and press circle to accept everything and then press triangle and then reboot when prompted so then we just press anything to reboot so that's that and now we wait for the reboot which is fairly important reboot the device open the browser and basically um, install other stuff we're working on it guys we're working on it it's getting some databases and such in its own mind it thinks it's being useful I'm not sure why but it does we have to basically go to the Hankaku installer website which is I'll post the link for that in the description as well for anyone that feels the need to get there so we go to browser which I'm actually pretty sure, you know what, there's an easier cheat way to do this. If you click molecular shell, if it still works, you can just press the install button right there. I remembered this. It takes you to the actual site you need to go to on the browser, which is really cool. See? Um, once Hankaku's installed, we launch the Enzo update application. Okay. Well, that's done. Okay, so it's sort of just been good now. There should be an application. Yep, right there, all the way at the bottom of my Vita. Um, if you guys didn't know with the PS Vita, it automatically installs new apps on the very bottom. So now that we have Hankaku, we need to go here and follow the on-screen instructions. Let's hope that this works successfully, the 3.65 updater. I'm really hoping it works out just fine. I mean, if you follow everything. Um, it says we're about to update to custom firmware 3.65 Enso. Uh, no way to downgrade. Remember, never to attempt this or reinstall some stuff afterward. Otherwise, you'll lose the ability to run Homebrew. Basically, you can brick your system. Uh, make sure all the plugins are good. Uh, make sure I have Vita Shell 1.2 or higher, which we do. We have 1.83. And now it just says this is very important. Yep, we did the backup. Uh, press X to confirm that you have read and understood all the risks R to exit. We're going to press X, which is A. Now it says this software will make permanent modifications to your Vita. If anything goes wrong, there is no recovery, not even with hardware flashing, so it's permanently screwed. Um, the creators provide this tool as is without warranty of any kind, express or implied, and cannot be held liable. Press X to accept the terms and start the update. And we will begin. Cleaning, good. Copying, good. And I trust it. 
So now we pretty much just got to let this uh, run. Is I guess what it wants us to do. So I'll put that there. Get that a little bit zoomed in for you guys. Pretty much we're just waiting for the Vita to do its own thing. Now this is just kind of the hardware setup. And then the guide says after we do this, it uh, just says enjoy. Hankaku Enso should now be installed on your Vita with 3.65. If you notice any issues, contact on Discord. Um, okay, so it finished the copying. Now it's verifying the update file. All kinds of fun, isn't it? There we are. All kinds of fun. Sorry, guys. I'm just trying to get like the cleanest um, video file for you guys. There we are. So yeah, I mean, this is pretty much it. Um, this is like basically the guide. Um, like I said, I didn't show the on-screen guide just because I didn't feel it was super necessary. But um, I mean, I can put it up in the video if people really need it. I might do that during editing. It just depends. Uh, as I said, I will definitely leave all of the links in the description below for anyone that needs any of these files or anything else. If you want to do this yourself, all that kind of stuff. Um, this guide really only applies to people that already have the PlayStation Vita jailbreak. Or if you didn't have it and you're on version 3.60 or lower, then you can actually do this and get all kinds of cool stuff on your PlayStation Vita. So if you are on a lower version than 3.6, I would definitely recommend doing this. This is just to update so you can actually play physical games again and digital games that uh, the system says you need a certain firmware or higher to load, which is cool that someone figured this out. Now it says after we did that, um, this is just the last thing in there. You may now uncomment any plugins, which was that thing where we put all of the hashtags on there. I believe it is done now. Yep, it is done. See? Cool. No idea what it's doing, but it seems to be having fun with itself. Basically, like I said, we're just kind of waiting around because it has to do all of its own stuff. But at this point, the guide's pretty much over. You can see it's installing firmware. We've done everything else. And yeah, I mean, this is the guide. Um, I, I'm going to try and put the, the guide up on screen for all of this. And um, we'll see how that goes. But uh, anyway, I thank you guys all so much for watching. Have yourselves a fantastic day. And I will see you in the next video or live stream. Peace!